Hey guys, it's me, me again. Welcome to uh, another episode of Cooking with the Hobo. Today we're making my famous hobo chili, but uh, basically to make this chili, all you need is the following ingredients. You need some beef, obviously. You can use venison, wild game, whatever you want. I use tomato sauce. I've seen it done with spaghetti sauce, but I prefer tomato, uh, tomato juice, sorry. You need some peppers. I don't have the celery out, but I normally throw some stalks of celery into her. Some good old uh, tomato paste here. I use the Hunts because the spices add a lot of flavor to the, um, to the chili. You need your diced tomatoes. Some good old dark red kidney beans. I always grab two cans of these guys because it helps. I don't have a big crock pot so I'm not making a huge batch. And then I add this stuff. Accent chili seasoning. What this is, they're chili beans, but they're designed for chili and they give it a great taste. Now what I'm going to do next, I'm going to fry up the beef um, and uh, chop up the uh, vegetables. So I'll be right back once I get the, that going. Alright guys. Alright guys, now what we're doing is we're just waiting for the frying pan to preheat, which I believe it, uh, it's already done, and we're going to get these guys into the frying pan. Just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and fry this up. One thing I want to add, what I normally do with the beef while it's frying, is I put a little bit of this Montreal steak spice into it, gives it a nice flavor, and makes it taste good. So yeah, I'll fry that up and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Alrighty guys, there we have it. The beef is all browned up. All I need to do now is add this to the crock pot and uh, we're ready to get started. Okay guys, the next step is to add the kidney beans. Now I cannot stress this enough, you do not want to pour these directly into the crock pot. You want to strain them. So go ahead and pour them directly into your strainer. See that, that clear translucent goop that was in there? That's a preservative. Last thing you want to do is get that into your chili. Let me tell you, it tastes like crap. So get that into your strainer there. Fire up some nice water over here and rinse them good. I cannot stress this enough. I want to make sure they're nice and rinsed. As you can tell, my sink is getting all that red stuff. It's perfect. So you rinse this all out. Give it another good shake there, make sure I got it all. Keep rinsing until you don't see any more red coming out of the bottom into the sink. Once you've done that, turn off the sink. There you go. Give her a shake. And you can come over here to your crock pot and dump them on in. And my crock pot's getting really full. I haven't even added my diced potatoes yet. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Same with the diced tomatoes. You want to strain them. Some people don't. I like to. But uh, yeah, I'll get those in there and I'll show you what the final product looks like. Pre cooked. Alrighty guys, I managed to get everything into my tiny little crock pot. I'm not sure how well this is going to work out. I've never made, uh, never overfilled the, the crock pot with chili before. I seriously need a bigger crock pot because one of these days I want to make a uh, bigger chili for everybody. For, uh, to bring over to the family's house or something like that. But anyway, there you have it. I'm just going to add the uh, good old Heinz tomato juice to her. Just add a little bit of that to give it some juice. Let it uh, cook for two hours. Then add your tomato paste and your chili seasoning and then that's about it so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and um, I'll show you the final product once she's all cooked up alrighty guys it's been about uh, two hours I've already had the uh, chili powder here that's what we're up against now so what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to add a can of this Hunt's Herb and Spices tomato paste give it a little zing and I'm also gonna add some spices I normally add basil and garlic to this so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do give her a quick stir let her sit till uh, till six alright guys chili is done look at that now I went ahead and already got me a bowl ready and uh, with this chili we're gonna be having us some garlic bread yum I put some cheese onto her there it's gonna be freaking amazing so as requested by some of the viewers, they wanted to see me eat this to make sure that I'm actually eating what I'm cooking. So I'm going to hand my camera off here and uh, get you a video of me actually tasting the stuff so you get an idea that I'm actually eating it. So here we go. Alright guys, taste test. Ooh, she's hot. Huh, hot chili, eh? Go figure. Mmm. 
best to date. All right, guys, just give this recipe a try. I'm telling you, it's very well worth it. And uh, I'm going to have me some supper now, so uh, take care, guys.